Today I'm going to be going through some of the testing features available on Visual Studio Code. Um, I'll go through the required setup to get this running, um, how to set up your workspace for it, and troubleshoot. So the testing feature in Visual Studio Code allows you to test individual um, tests in Python and in other languages. You can see the outputs directly there, and you can also run all the tests directly um, in the interface. All right, so let's get started. To be able to run tests in Visual Studio Code using um, the test tool, you'll first evidently need Visual Studio Code installed on your computer. Afterwards, you should have the main Python extensions installed. So there are three that are officially supported and then a few uh, extension packs that um, are great to add as well. You'll need your software repository installed and opened using the open folder option. You'll need your software tool already installed on your computer, preferably in a virtual environment that will be able to activate. And lastly, you'll need to make sure that PyTest is already installed. And now we're ready to get started. To get started, you'll have to open your code repository into your workspace. Next, you'll need to select the interpreter or the virtual environment that you'll want to be using with your software. This is where your software have, has installed all of its um, dependencies. To verify that it was properly um, set up, you can close the terminal and open a new terminal. And you should see that it's activated there. Locate the folder where the tests have been placed. Click on the beaker symbol on the left. Click on Configure Python Tests. Select the testing framework that you prefer. Here I'll select PyTest. Select the folder that you had identified where the tests were located. And now you'll have to wait until Visual Studio Code identifies and locates all of the, all of the tests. Now you can run tests using the Visual Studio Code interface. You can um, run individual tests by selecting them on this panel here. On the bottom, if you have the terminal open, there will be uh, there will be a tab that says test results, which will indicate where all the tests are. If you run multiple tests, the log and queue will appear on the right, and you can see the outputs for each individual test by clicking um, the show results output icon there. In your code, if you're editing the code, you can go and click on this green icon to the left of the test to run these individual tests as you're programming. And lastly, you can click on Run Tests at the top to run all of the tests for your project. And that's it. If you're having some issues with tests or um, want to help debug some of the tests, you can go and take a look at what command VS Code used to run the tests. You can also take a look at the output, which is the log where it set up all the environment. You should make sure that the proper interpreter was selected. You can go here and change which interpreter 
you're using if you'd like to select a different one. If any of your tests are parameterized, this may cause issues with running your tests. So if you click on the run test option, you may see that not all tests will get executed as there will be some errors. This is because Visual Studio Code explicitly runs all of the tests um, in the command line. And so when it's looking for some of the tests to run on specific scripts it, with the par parameterization, um, it won't be able to find them explicitly in the file. If you followed all of the installation instructions and no tests appear here, first ensure that the folder that you selected was where the tests are placed. If this is the case, the second thing you should try is to take a look at the settings to make sure that there wasn't a default setting set for the root directory of the tests already. So by going into the settings and searching test and scrolling down, you can see that here, in this case, we had a default directory for the tests already. So when we selected testing for the test folder, it was actually looking for this folder, which does not exist. By removing this optional working directory for the tests and reselecting the settings to configure the Python, Python tests, these should now appear on the left. And that's it. Hopefully these instructions and troubleshooting information are helpful for you. Thank you very much.